Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix all kind of errors, including black screen issues, game not launching issues, and a lot of other issues that you might be facing in Battlefield 6. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. keeping this video simple so let's start with the first step that is cleaning your gpu shader cache for that simply search for disk cleanup on your pc and once you're here select your local disk c and click on ok over here make sure you select your direct x shader cache along with the delivery optimization files recycle bin and temporary files over here once all of that is done click on ok and click on delete files this might take a while so let it run in the background and this will help you to delete all of your temporary files and shader cache files on your pc this will force your gpu to re-render the game Game and help you optimize the performance. Step number two is updating your GPU drivers. If you guys have an NVIDIA graphics card like me, you can go to the NVIDIA app or NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Head over to the drivers tab and make sure that you have downloaded the version 581.42, which was specifically released for Battlefield 6. This will help you to fix crashing and black screen issues, and now it supports DLSS 4 with multi frame generation to help you improve your FPS. Once you are done updating your GPU driver, head over to the graphics tab and then find battlefield 6 in this list if it is not already added click on these three dots and click on add a scan location go to the download location of your game head over to common and then select battlefield 6 click on the select folder and this will automatically search and scan for the application once it finds it scroll down to find it once it is added head over to its settings come down to driver settings over here you have to find dlss override super resolution mode click on that and then for the mode select performance or ultra performance over here if you guys are suffering from issues try this and relaunch the game to see if that works next step is downloading lagofast to help you fix all of your network issues ping issues and fps issues you guys can find a free download link to lagofast right in the description below once you open up the application you guys can see that lagofast is officially working with battlefield 6 what you have to do is simply search for your game they have a library of more than 300 games to choose from simply select your game and then pick your server i have already chosen the nearest region to me and as i click on it it shows me all of the servers available with the ping what you have to do is simply find a server with the lowest ping over here and as you guys can see i have path one selected click on smart boost and it will help me connect my pc straight to the game servers without any hindrance allowing it to perform better alongside this they have also provided a ton of game tools which help you to fix your game for example the secure boot check where you select it and it shows you your system environment if your secure boot is enabled it will show you that it is already enabled and if your secure boot is not enabled you guys can see a screen like this where you can scan the code and enable secure boot on your PC. Other than that, it also has the optimized CPU usage issue. You have to install it on your PC and it helps you to reduce your CPU usage so you can get better performance in the game. Alongside that, if you find any anti-cheat errors, you guys can simply select this one and it helps you to fix the EA Javelin anti-cheat service. They have also added the fix interception error. If you click on that and select one click fix, and you have to restart your PC once and it will help you to fix all kind of software induced error which could be causing your game to crash. If that is not enough, Lagofast also has an inbuilt FPS boost section wherein you guys can apply the best CPU settings, GPU overclocking settings, but I don't recommend you guys do that, and driver update for your GPU. All of that all at once so you guys can optimize your FPS drastically. Once again, I have left a free download link to Lagofast right in the description below. Make sure to go check it out and don't forget to use my code BEARFOX for extra discounts. Next step is disabling sysmain or prefetch on your PC which is absolutely useless and it consumes your CPU resources in the background. Search for services on your PC and open up services. Click on the S button on your keyboard and find sysmin over here. Double click to open this up and for the startup type set this thing to disabled and if the service is already running, simply stop it. Click on the apply button and this will help you to optimize your PC's performance drastically. Next step is disabling core isolation which is also a very useful step to help you reduce CPU and G and RAM resources. For that, simply search for memory integrity and then you'll find core isolation over here. Click on that and then you're gonna have to disable memory 
integrity over here. This step itself will help you to save a ton of your system resources and optimize the performance of your game. Once that is done, simply close it. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and over here, come down and select local disk C, click on the create button and name it BF6 just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that's done, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is the Battlefield 6 error fix pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can find in 6 very simple folders over here which are essential to optimize the performance of your PC. Let's start with the first one that is Visual C Runtime Files which are really essential for the performance of your game. All you have to do is right click on install all and then run it as administrator. This will automatically update all of your Visual C Runtime files and help you to optimize your PC. Second is Update DirectX which is a very useful and essential service for your PC to help you render the games. Right click on that and then run it as administrator. Once it opens up, click on I accept the agreement and then click on next, uncheck install the Bing bar, click on next again and let it update your DirectX on the PC. Let it run in the background. Third step is BF6 priority in which I have left above normal, high priority, normal priority and I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below to help you select the priority. Fourth one is GPU optimization registries. Since this game is really GPU dependent, you would always want to optimize your GPU. So over here you have asynchronous shader optimization along with disable DVR, disable GPU energy driver and power throttling. Also it helps your GPU priority and increase power efficiency. Make sure to run every single one of these registry over here to help you optimize the performance of your GPU. Fifth is batch tweaks where I have left disable memory compression. You have already done it in the previous step so you can skip this one. Second one is disable process mitigation and for that right click and then run it as administrator. This will help you to successfully disable process mitigation on your PC, help you optimize the performance of your CPU. Once that is done, go back and last one is clean cache tool. You have to right click and run it as administrator. And this helps you to clean your temporary files on the PC. Press enter and this will delete all temporary files and it is highly recommended to do it every now and then once you boot your PC and run the games. Next step is defragging and optimizing your disk drive. For that simply search for defragment and optimize drives over here. Select your local disk C and if that is a solid state drive you have to click on the optimize button over here and it will trim your SSD to optimize its performance. In case of a hard disk drive select it, click on the analyze button and let it analyze the fragments and click on optimize to let it do the job. I would highly recommend you guys to do it for both C drive and the drive that you might have your game installed on. Simply do this and also click on the change setting button over here. Click on run a schedule and the frequency should be set to weekly. Over here, as it is done, click on OK and simply close it. Now you guys can go into the game and see if that fixes all of your issues. If it does, make sure to do let me know in the comments. I hope this video helps you out. If it did, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button because it really helps me grow the channel. Since we are really close to 250,000 subscribers, your sub would definitely help me grow this. I'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.